Hello, this is Kitana from Grog.net website. I'm gonna give you a course in GNSC3. First of all, we have a very important question. What is GNSC3? GNSC stands for Graphical Network Simulator. It's used to simulate simple as well as complex network. It's a graphical user interface program based on Dynamps. Now, what is Dynamps? Actually, Dynamps is a project started in 2005. It started to emulate Cisco routers on a traditional PC. It is the goal of GNSC3 that simulates Cisco IOS, which will allow you to use and simulate Cisco commands. GNSC simulates Cisco routers, firewalls, switches. The latest version of GNSC3 simulates Juniper product. It's an open source project. It can be downloaded freely from GNSC website. It supports variant operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. We have to mention here that to use the program, you should have the Cisco IOS image which can be downloaded from Cisco website if you have an account there. It's a copyright protected and cannot be distributed. GNS is a heavy program and requires a machine with a good specification. Personally, I do recommend you should have minimum 1 RAM. Regarding the CPU, the simple rule is the faster the better. I will show you some tricks how to decrease the CPU utilization while you are using the GNS3. Now, let's download GNS3 program. To download it, Please go to the website www.gnsc3.net. This is the official website for GNSC3 program. Click on download icon in the main page. It will take us to download page. Here in this page, we can choose our operating system. For me, I'm going to download Windows version. The latest version here as it's mentioned is 0.72. Click on it. It will take us automatically to sourceforg.net website. From there, we can download it. It's around 14.5 megabytes. To save your time, I have previously downloaded it. Installing it an, is an easy task. It's a next next finish. It's a straightforward installation file. Double click on the installation file. Next, next, next. As we can see here, it's going to download the Dynamps as well as WinPCAP. The path it will take. Here it's telling me that I have previously installed. I'm not going to reinstall it again. I'm not going to install it again. It's previously installed. For you, if it's not installed, please install it. It fast. It will not take half a minute. Now finish. Now we have officially installed GNSC3 program. To start the program, we have to click on the GNSC3 shortcut in our desktop. For the first time, if it is the first time you are using GNSC3 in your machine, it will open Setup Wizard. It consists of two steps. The first step is to configure and test both of Dynaps. It's really important to run the GNSC3 application. From here, click on Dynaps, click Test. As we can see here, Dynamps successfully started. It's really important before starting GNS3. Apply. OK. The second step is to add the iOS image. Click here. It will take you to iOS images. We can here click on this icon to browse our machine wherever we have saved our iOS. For me, I have saved them in C. As you can see here, for me, I have variant iOS. I am going to choose, for example, 3700. It automatically detected the platform is 3700, the mod is 3725, and the default RAM is 128 megabyte. Click Save, and we can see that it is added, it's been added here. Click Close, and OK. Now we are ready to use the GNSC3 application. I will give you a brief description about GNSC3. On the left side, there is nodes types. From here, as we can see that GNS supports variant models like 1700, 2700, 3600, and some other models. We have choose the 37. On the right side, there is a topology summary. Later on, we are going to show you how we can use this area. On the bottom, there is a console. We actually we are not going to use it a lot, so we can minimize this space. 
In the middle, this is the work area. Here is where we are going to actually work and add other routers. In the middle, this is our actual work area. Here we are going to add routers and connect them together. Let's create a new project. Let's go File, New Project. I'm going to name this project like First Lab. Here I have to set the lab path to our project location. I'm going to save it in my desktop so it will be easier for me. I have to click this checkbox to save NVRAMs. What is NVRAM? NVRAM is to save the configuration. It's really important if we are going to make a lab and check it later on. Click OK. Now we are ready. GNS3 is a very simple program. It's a drag and drop. We have added previously an iOS image for 3700 series. I'm going just to click on 3700 icon here, drag and drop it in my work area. It's been added. As we can see now, this is router 1. On my right side, the topology summary is router 1. I'm going to add another one. Here I have two routers. If I'm going to add another model like 2600, it will tell me that no image for this platform. It's simple. We can add iOS images from here by clicking on Edit, iOS images. The same one we used previously. We can add more than one iOS. Here I am going to add for 2600 series. Save. As we can see here that I have two images now for 3725 and 2621 models. After adding the routers in my work area, I like to change the host name. To be honest with you, R1 and R2, they are not that descriptive for me. I like to have more meaningful names. Just by right click on the router, change the host name. I'm going to name this as head office. And for the second router, Let's say that it's first branch, branch 1, ok. In GNS, it has a very nice feature. If I just put the cursor on the router, it will show me a lot of information about this router. Also for any router here, like uh, what Ethernet, what uh, modules do you have, the iOS version, the NVRAM size, disk sizes. It will give you a really nice information. Routers are modular. We can add modules close to our router. If we want, for example, to add modules for serial interface, fast Ethernet, Ethernet, it's an easy task in GNS3. Simply by right click on the router and click configure. From here, I will check my head office router. Memories and disk tab. From here, I can increase or decrease RAM and VRAM as well as disk sizes. It's really useful for us. Currently, we are not going to increase or change, make any changes for the sizes. For me, the most important thing is slot tab. From here, I can add Ethernet, modules, fast Ethernet, serial. For now, I'm going just to use the fast Ethernet. It's okay with me. If I want to add another, it's an easy task. Just click in here, like for example, NM-40 is for serial interfaces. I'm not going to use it right now. I will click Cancel. Now I have two routers. Each router has two interfaces. Connecting routers is a very simple task in GNS3. There is a small icon here called Add a Link. Whenever you click on 